Today is another book review day and this week I have been reading The Dollmaker by Richard Montanari. Um, this is a crime book and it's another one that a customer returned to the library and it looked quite dark and strange and weird. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I won't read you the blurb on the back because it's a shiny hardback copy um, and the blurb is on the inside cover so I'll read you that and then tell you my thoughts. Okay, so Mr Marseille is polite, elegant and erudite. He would do anything for his true love, Annabelle. And he's a psychopath. A quiet Philadelphia suburb. A woman cycles past a train depot with her young daughter and there she finds a murdered girl posed on a newly painted bench. Strangled. Beside her is a formal invitation to a tea dance in a week's time. Seven days later, two more young victims are discovered in a disused house, posed on painted swings. At the scene is an identical invitation. This time, though, there is something extra waiting for detectives Kevin Byrne and Jessica Balzano. A delicate porcelain doll. It's a message and a threat. With Marseille and Annabelle stalking the city, detectives Byrne and Balzano have just seven days to find the link between the murders before another innocent child is snatched from its streets. So you've got the um, the dark, twisted murder scenes and, and horrible things like that. But I'm afraid I'm it's I'm going to find this quite difficult to review this book, um, and I don't know why. I did enjoy it, and I also didn't. And I can't really put my finger on what I didn't like about it. But anyway, um, just kind of a little bit about the story. You've got uh, Mr. Marseille and Annabelle, who are the murderers. And you know this pretty much from the beginning. Um, and rather than kind of with crime... Look, when you're watching uh, crime uh, television programmes... Um, you've always got uh, all the different suspects and you're trying to work out who done it whereas with this book you know from the beginning who the murderers are um but you're trying to work out why why they're behaving in this way and um it is dark i mean these these two people mr marseille and annabelle you can't work out their relationship to start with it's it's very ambiguous you you don't know who they are you know their names and you know how they dress. They're very well dressed and they're very polite and very nice and becoming. And it's it's very difficult to to work them out. Um, but they take young people, barely even teenagers, teenagers, um, about 11, 12, 13 years old, and um, kill them. And then make a replica doll of their murder victim. Um, exactly the same way that they're dressed. They paint their face um, to be the same as the, the child and their hair. And, and everything is, is extremely similar. And obviously that is really, really creepy. First of all, killing children. Well, killing anyone. But killing children. And then making a replica doll. And you you don't really find out much about... Marseille and Annabelle um, until you kind of reach well over halfway really um, so they're just these two strange people they don't seem real they're they're too oh I, I really don't know like I say they're so polite well mannered well dressed um, that in today's society that just doesn't seem real because everyone's really rude and scruffy and uh, you know, they they just they just seem really out of place in um, kind of modern America, um, and it's down to Bern and Balzano to um, obviously catch the murderers and and find out what's going on, and it's it is it's full of the you know typical twists and turns and. They nearly catch them and then they don't and they find more clues and they're, you know, and they're piecing bits together, which obviously is what a crime um, story should be. You obviously shouldn't be told everything in the first five pages. Um, but uh, I don't know. Like I say, I can't really say what I didn't like about it. It just didn't. Oh, I, f I feel really bad because normally I, I can, you know, hold on to something. And this one, it just, it, 
it didn't fall flat it was exciting it was gripping you you do want to find out what's going on and why rather than just killing they have to go through these elaborate processes of um, leaving the murdered children posed in certain ways and um, leaving these dolls and they the detectives do you know they build their case and they and they find all these clues and everything but I don't know like I say it just fell a little bit flat well it didn't fall flat. I don't know I really don't know with this one I can't I can't put my finger on it it is a good read um, like I say, it, it does. It is fast paced, and you do kind of pick up on bits and pieces and, and try to piece it together yourself. Um, I'm not sure whether or not. Um, well, with with some crime books, you get the main detective, and some authors write a series of books using the same police detectives in them. And this one on the on the front cover, it just says a Byrne and Balzano thriller. And while I was in the library, I did pick up some other um, books by the same author and find that they were, um, those detectives were in those um, novels as well. And I wasn't sure whether or not I should have um, read the first book in the series or, you know, the first book that contained these detectives, whether or not reading it out of series and out of context may have, hindered my enjoyment I don't know I don't know like I say I, I I very rarely read a series of books if I like something I'll pick it up so I don't know whether or not that was a uh, factor in um, me feeling a little bit lost at times I don't know I mean you did get taken into the um, detectives life story and you did find out about about them so I don't know whether or not any of the other books would have given you more information I don't know um, but like I say, I don't tend to read series. Um, but it was, yeah, it was enjoyable. It was exciting. It, it had all the elements of a crime um, story. I'm not a big crime reader, so I, d I can't, you know, pinpoint what they're supposed to be like. But the ones that I have read, and like I say, watching things like Midsummer Murders and Frost and... <laughs> I'm so terribly English. Um, all those kind of things on the television, um, you know, they have their, um, you know, certain plot points that you, you know, you find in all crime stories. So if if you like something a little bit dark, it is dark, it is a bit twisted. Um, it's quite gruesome, actually, at the beginning. There's a, there's a horrible murder at the beginning. Um, that was quite, quite shocking. Um, but that, isn't carried on through you're, you're kind of hit with the shock at the beginning and then it does peter out but um yeah i i'm afraid i've got to shrug my shoulders with this one and um i'm, I'm not too sure with it but if, if you like something a little bit dark and a bit weird and a bit creepy ish um ish probably is a good word for this it's it's all right ish it's crime ish it's weird ish um then yeah give it a go but unfortunately it just yeah, like I say, shrug. I'm not too sure. Um, so I do apologise for the bad review this time round, but like I say, I, it, it, I, I wasn't too sure what to say on this one. Um, but if you would like to hear any more of my reviews where I am a little bit more eloquent, um, then please subscribe to my channel. I do try to put out videos every week. Um, some of them are book reviews. Some of them are me doing some shameless self-promotion about my own writing. And um, I occasionally give out little bits of writing advice as well. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Bye bye.